Hi, I'm Pakata12 and today I'll walk you through this file as uh, it would take too long to build it from scratch with my with my left hand and um, I had a, an accident with my bicycle again and uh, my uh, right side is not yet functional so um, I'll I'll guide you with my with my left and uh, luckily couple of the the modules that we use here uh, we covered in a previous tutorials and uh, I like to to mention this one particle collision uh, for the collision part and uh, this one custom particle system uh, for the shading part okay now let's go back in this network and see what we have you notice the the spheres uh, become smaller and smaller and eventually they die so uh, let's go here inside and uh, and see how the networks look okay uh, before we start i want to mention that this file would be available for download for free to uh, everyone as a uh, I do believe this is uh, getting uh, um, closely to the to the uh, to how how a, a proper uh, particle system uh, uh, looks in in my uh, um, daily works. So uh, I want to share with you this. Uh. Okay, now let me reset. Okay, you see we have a couple of the, the spheres which are white and it doesn't move at all. Now the first uh, moment I click some spheres will be generated and uh, on the second click uh, they change the color and uh, yeah we can uh, we can set here how many colors we want. We uh, choose the 24 for now but we, we you can go uh, as many as you want and uh, yeah those those particles uh, they have a same direction for the family uh, I like to say family but, but uh, the, the same color okay and uh, the white one uh, don't have any velocity they are just uh, moved by uh, the other um, spheres okay and uh, you can uh, uh, change a lot of parameters here let's uh, see what we have uh, in the first place so resolution x we have ratio uh, particles uh, is the the amount of the maximum particles that, that this uh, uh, system can take so um, you can go with uh, 2048 uh, this will run uh, smooth with 60 uh, fps even though the method is called naive and um, I don't like this term and I don't believe it's na naive uh, at all because we didn't use any language here everything it's it's uh, built out of, of tops and uh, the ability to to arrange pixels in such a manner then you will later compute the distance to all uh, that is not naive so um, okay we have uh, particles for which we have a, a radius you notice I also go with increments like this I find it uh, much easier uh, we have speed this speed will affect the the, the spheres and the uh, initial uh, it refer to to the white ones will which appear at the at the beginning we can change this uh, um, and if we reset now we have uh, a much density uh, for the for the white balls so then we have colors I, I already told you uh, what color is so let's let's start let's um, you see we, we we use this this uh, um, layout and uh, for me this is quite visual as uh, each uh, container uh, has uh, some some uh, 
something that that uh, uh, yeah it's it's easy to 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 uh, to build on, on this and I, I also have a lot of 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 pieces of of wood of so for me it's just the way I, I see better so let's let's start with the first container that they, they don't have any order okay and the uh, initial it's uh, where I set the a noise, a random noise, uh, with the length of how many uh, uh, initial points uh, we have. Um, I I limit uh, this to to uh, have all the points in the in our ratio, and uh, here uh, we we add a blue channel now. We go with RG because it's everything we need. This is a plane, okay? But in order to, to give them different colors, I want to, to count the clicks of my mouse. And so for this initial uh, uh, particles, there, there is no click and uh, they, can, they can take uh, a zero for the blue. Uh, so on the output uh, two is just a texture marked uh, um, zero one with uh, with my initial uh, points okay now let's see the the mouse okay the mouse it's a, a panel uh, chalk because uh, this is uh, um, the the panel for our project and i use inside view inside v as the mouse coordinates and uh, uh, left select or uh, right select I, I i don't i don't know anymore as uh, uh, i'm with uh, the other hand now but uh, yeah the inside u and v is actually the uh, rg for uh, for our uh, uh, constant which i'll multiply with l select okay with mouse because i only want to see their uh, color when i press and uh, at the bottom here i select l select right and i name it colors and then i count so uh, and I didn't want to to pulse this count because uh, otherwise you you'll have the same color each time uh, you reset so i leave this count to go um, uh, where he wants and here in this expression i use modulo okay so it's like this it's me input val uh, what what I have in this uh, uh, operator and then uh, this percent uh, symbol it's a uh, modulo okay and uh, I uh, use the number of the colors and then I divide by the number of colors to to actually uh, have a, a nice uh, normalized texture in between zero one okay now then I reorder into a pixel for which the uh, blue means something different, okay? And uh, that means we need to take care where we add something because uh, we don't want to alter that uh, uh, blue uh, channel, okay? Now let's go in, uh, in particles, okay? Here we have... Um, the collision module which is uh, identical with uh, with the one in a previous tutorial the only difference being that we use this add inside the module so here at the bottom uh, part okay we compute the the collision and we solve that uh, offset and we have the forces for each particles uh, and then we add them uh, over the the particles position Okay. I use a, a feedback, uh, also a limit, because uh, I don't want to to lose the the, the spheres. Okay, so they will uh, they are limit uh, on each side with a, a a diameter of the biggest sphere. So um, let's go here. You see, I have this part 
which I, I limit on X and on uh, the Y. And you see I'm referring here to some kind of uh, uh, radius, which is actually, if we go in the container uh, size, you see, we have the, the scale for, for each particle. And here I analyze, I want to, to find out which is the maximum uh, size. And on over that size, so I multiply with the radius and then I uh, now sp uh, the, the radius for, for each uh, particles. Uh, this part, it's, uh, I multiply with something that, that uh, takes the dye uh, texture because I want to clean, you see, Every time you, you have black here, because the, the texture is not yet uh, filled, you see, if while I, I'm pressing my mouse, these pixels are getting uh, uh, there, okay? And after that, it's, it's a black. I want that to be zero. Now, when you go with, with some addition or even some limit, you might lose that zero. And so it's good to to um, to clean it. So this is uh, uh, for for cleaning the the texture. Okay. Now the collision part, I I will not go uh, in detail in this one as uh, as I said it's identical with with the one we we already uh, built in a previous one. And now I add some some noise. Actually, I. This is where I, I got this uh, uh, direction for all the all the family of colors uh, of particles. Okay, I have this noise, and uh, in the math I just uh, multiply with one divided by the resolution x and uh, multiply with the speed. It's an old uh, uh, trick, and also I have some cleaning here. Okay, because uh, the our noise is. Uh, I, I want to make sure. I don't I don't have uh, uh, errors here okay so this is uh, for cleaning I use the the, the same as uh, as here uh, here I, I also uh, take a texture from the initial points then I invert this because I want the the first initial points to not have any uh, velocity so that noise that I, I I take the the direction from I want to be zero for the initial point. So this is what I do here. Okay. Now we make this uh, addition and then we compose it with over and we see we in a translate it, we have an index. What, what is this? And the uh, in it's nothing but the, the, the mouse. So you see while the mouse is not pressed the value is black is zero i don't i don't take anything where if if i don't do anything if, if there is zero okay only if i press i i generate some other spheres and i don't know if you noticed uh each time a particle dies they they leave an empty space here in 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 the texture and uh, we want to fill the all the empty spaces okay and uh, for this reason we use an index here uh, also why the index takes the the uh, texture from the limit and not from feedback it's uh, because of this uh, cleaning uh, part okay now if i'm i'm taking limit out i know that uh, the black is zero Okay, so let's go in the index, and um, uh, let me let me pour some some uh, uh, spheres here, okay, to to see something, and yeah, I'm taking this uh, uh, texture, and uh, I have my oh, my good old uh, uh, component that uh, shows me where I have values and where I, I don't have values, meaning I have zeros, okay? So uh, I go mat and uh, only uh, square and add, not, uh, not uh, root, okay? I go ceiling and then I need to limit this, okay? And I invert because I want to multiply, this ramp takes multiply, 
with, with a ramp and then the, analyze the, the smallest value in that ramp. But the smallest value would be this zero here. You see, I have a bunch of zeros. And I, I, actually, I want this uh, little gray, the beginning of the gray line. Okay. Now, this is the reason I, I made this addition to cover the zero, the black that I don't want to, to find anything, uh, to, to know about them. I covered with one value. And uh, by doing this, now you see, every time I, I check the minimum, I, I, I have those empty uh, spaces between uh, that white. Okay, and uh, yeah, I make an analyze for the, the minimum and then here I multiply with uh, how many uh, particles I have in, in, in my row and uh, by doing this you find out the, the index. Okay, now the smallest indexed for, a, for a, an empty space. Okay, now here in this over I take the, the mouse value and I translate it where the index says. You notice the index was uh, 300 and something and now it's 256. This is because some of the, the, the particles die. Okay, and they, they, they leave uh, a space in, a, in a early positions. Okay, now let's go, let's go in, in colors. Okay, colors takes the the same takes the the position and here in a reorder only consider a blue channel and it it goes mapped in this noise okay now by doing this this noise will will uh, deliver colors for uh, each uh, click okay and i want the the white the initial spheres to be white so this is why i i i use this okay let's see the size now the size is very simple i select the the die we we, we go there in 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 a moment and because uh, the die is the texture that decide uh what particles stays in a texture and uh, uh, what uh, has to, to leave the texture, okay? And, and uh, leave the, the zero black um, in their spaces, okay? Now we have this, this noise for the scale, the amplitude zero would uh, have, uh, would, would produce the, the same uh, um, radius, okay? And nothing more here okay now let's see dye texture the dye texture it's it's getting the initial particles okay and this uh, uh, feedback takes the particles out okay so i'm starting with the initial and that feedback takes the, the particles uh, from the the uh, particles engine from the the container name particles okay and here i analyze again to to see where i have value and where i don't have values and here is where i build the lifespan for for each i'm starting with a with a rectangle and in this rectangle one pixel it's placed where the the smallest empty space is exactly like like uh, the over with the mouse pixel okay it's the same position and each time i i, I press you'll see that that uh, pixel you see now it's here it will uh, uh, move accordingly with, with with our texture okay now from here i use the life i use i, I did a, a life uh, a container and i use the feedback and the uh, I go out from that feedback with, with, with maximum. But uh, here in this mod, I subtract a little value of it. So this is why they will die, because they, they will get close, uh, short, in, not, not in short time, but uh, it depends on you. They will get to zero and then they will disappear. 
okay now right now it's uh, minus uh, one divided by uh, 10 24 divided by 6 is a, a very very small uh, value you you can you can go less but you will see that uh, the spheres will will um, disappear faster so it's up to you also depends how long is the texture how uh, the, what the speed uh, what speed you use so um, but i will i will show you this okay now this function what this function does if you if you look uh, they, they are much smaller without the function and i i use this function to stay fat uh, a longer time okay okay uh, Yeah, I go I go ceiling here to right after I, I know the lifespan. If I go ceiling, I know which are uh, alive actually. So uh, yeah, um, I go in this out. So this is very important the the die. Now the buffers, I name buffers or renders, but uh, uh, buffers. I like to 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 make them la, la, like this. Every time you need uh, uh, some some texture for instances, I build this uh, um, folder where I where I take uh, 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 position, uh, scale, and color. Okay, and uh, I want to to render this out, so I'm using uh, um, two geos. The first one uh, would give me the uh, position and uh, the scale and the last one is colors right now it's it's white because we don't have any uh, particles but yeah the last one is colors okay now let's see in post in post uh, yes the, the reason we, we need that uh, uh, sc uh, scale for for the render because uh, that goes here in this uh, uh, shade uh, component and uh, yeah we actually build a height map uh, with the spheres where we have those um, uh, circles and then some some uh, um, normalizing and yeah we we have this uh, nice shading and uh, yeah this uh, this is pretty much uh, the the file and I only have one other thing to show you and let me feel this uh, um, texture a little bit crazy let's let's say now you notice some of the colors uh, have a different direction uh, maybe if they uh, go faster like here it's uh, so much density of balls and they look like uh, they overlap anyway okay now that is because we we compute the, the, the overlap and we solve that uh, very precise, but is not quite enough to to have a, a, a fully solved uh, um, bunch of, of of circles. So um, yeah, I found out that uh, you need to access sub steps frames and that already sounds a bit scary but uh, yeah let, let's see how we divide a, a frame in the uh, as many slides as we want so uh, yeah let's go in particles you see the reason I did the the, the collision uh, container like this is because I want to copy past okay so uh, I copy past let me connect it like this and actually we we do it one more so we'll have four sub steps now now look at the the, the spheres now they will uh, run out of the mouse much faster also the the density the overlapping is it's less less way less now uh, i'm not sure for uh, 2000 uh, uh, particles you can you can have uh, uh, maybe maybe you can it's you you've I'm encouraging 
you to try this and, and, and see how many sub steps uh, a certain amount of particles c uh, can can handle till till the FPS uh, drops or uh, yeah but uh, uh, this is nice this is, I, I mean you access something in between the frames for for which uh, uh, everyone thought it's it's uh, uh, necessary uh, GLSL language so uh, yeah that that proof uh, this wrong okay so yeah this is uh, um, this is the file I, I hope it's it's easy to to follow and uh, I have to say it's quite tedious to 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 build such a thing because uh, there are some feedbacks and uh, you go easily in a in a, a loop dependence and uh, uh, or yeah uh, it's quite complex things to to build and um, I believe with my right hand uh, this would also take m much longer than one hour so yeah we we go like this for 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 this build and uh, I really hope you like this uh, tutorial um, I would like to to see what you can uh, you can uh, create with uh, with this the reason I named this uh, paintball is uh, yeah this is my type of paintball okay and uh, I really hope you like this thank you so much for watching and um, you can support me on patreon and uh, I'll uh, I'll have there uh, a bunch of other tutorials we we go much more advanced with uh, with the particle system and, and everything and uh, yeah thank you so much for support I would like to thanks to all my patron and see you in the next one bye